I'm going to start this problem by eliminating the decimals. Personally, I like working with whole numbers, so whenever I see decimals or fractions in a problem, I get rid of them. Now, this is not something you have to do, but this is something I like to do. So, since we have two decimal places here, two decimal places here, two decimal places here, and only one here, we need to be able to, to move that decimal point twice, and to do so, we need to multiply both sides of the equation by 100. Now, like I said, this is not something you necessarily have to do, but as a general rule of thumb, for me, I like to eliminate decimals and eliminate fractions. So when we multiply each term, the entire equation, by 100, what we get is negative 105 minus 21r equals 14r plus 210. All right, so we have two, uh, in our equation, we have two terms that have an r, that have our variable, and, and two numbers. So we want to get all the, all the variables to one side and all the numbers to the other. So let's eliminate this 14r on the right by subtracting 14r from the right side. And whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So minus 14r to the left as well. All right, so on the right, the 14Rs cancel, and we're left with just the 210. And on the left, oops, sorry, I forgot the R here, 14R. And on the left, we still have a, a negative 105. And so we have minus 21R, minus 14R. So we have two negatives, becomes more negative. So that's negative, or sorry, minus 35 R. All right, so we have all our R's to the left, all our variables to the left. So let's get rid of that negative 105 on the right. The opposite of negative 105 is a positive 105. So let's add 105 to both sides of the equation. We have a negative 105, a positive 105. They cancel on the left, giving us our 35R. And on the right, we have 210 plus 105. That's 315. All right, one step away. We want to get R by itself. So right now we have negative 35 times R. So the opposite of multiplying by negative 35 is dividing by negative 35. So we'll divide the left and the right by negative 35. Right. On the left, the times negative 35, the divide by negative 35, they cancel. So we're left with just R. And on the right, 315 divided by negative 35. You could use a calculator for that if you prefer. And that will give us negative 9. So the answer to this equation, R equals negative 9.